All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about Garrett Bale and what you guys think about Garrett Bale. Do you would you guys keep him, or would you guys send him out on loan, or even consider him in a swap? So Garrett Bale is a fantastic player. Obviously, who can change the game in the blink of an eye. On his day, a great player, one of the best in the world. I mean, really rare that we see a player like this. Um, <clears throat> the only thing is that he gets injured a lot, and he doesn't have enough of those days. You know, like I said before, he's he's missed about a year in the five years that he's been here due to injuries, and he pretty much just gets injured all the time, this guy. He's made of crystal, we know that. Um, but like I said, he's very, very good player. Um, and he scored his last game. It just reinforces the impact that he has on games. Um, he's more of a moments player, so he doesn't get involved fully in the game. We'll just see him here and there sporadically. Uh, but nonetheless, he usually likes to get a goal or an assist. Usually, he usually, um, I, I see him a lot assisting in the goals, and he loves to score in the finals. He's a very good player in the final. When it comes to finals, you can see the bicycle kick um, in the Champions League final. He saw it at the Copa del Rey uh, versus Barcelona. Um, you know, Club World Cup, he scored a hat trick. So he, he's very good in the finals, and he, he's very crucial to, to Real Madrid's success in, in recent years. Um, and however the, the only question is uh, could that continue under Gareth Bale and I think that's where uh, there's a lot of controversy you know is can we be a successful club with Gareth Bale in this team and for me I'm one of those fans that think that yes I think we should keep Gareth Bale unless it's to swap him with maybe Mbappe or maybe even Paul Pogba I would consider it um, <clears throat> I'll get into that right now but um, he is he is aging, but I still think he's got three to four years left in him. Uh, he's got about 100 goals and 217 appearances. Um, you know, he, he really does get a lot of unfair criticism. You know, 100 goals and 217 appearances, it's pretty good enough for Real Madrid, actually. And he's one of the best English players, if not the best, to play in La Liga. If you guys remember, basically before Gareth Bale came to La Liga, uh, a lot of English players, I, I know he's Welsh, but, you know, same thing. Um, you know, a lot of English players would still be reluctant to come to La Liga. They didn't want to, you know, be under that pressure and stuff like that. But Gareth Bale, he, you know, he took it upon himself. He came to La Liga. He came under a lot of pressure, and he succeeded. He's actually succeeded. And I know some Madrid fans will consider him a failure, but for me, I, could, I do consider him a success. Considering that before that, a lot of English players haven't been playing very good in La Liga. Um... So he does get a lot of unfair criticism, but his comments, you know, his comments in the Champions League, his je the gesture towards Lucas Vasquez, it's a bit obnoxious. Um, you know, all these things don't really help him, and that's and that's the problem with him, I think. Um, he doesn't speak well the language, and um, it's kind of frustrating, to be honest, but I can understand why he does that and where he's coming from when he does that. If I was in his position, I would be frustrated also, and you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'd do the same thing, but I'd probably show it uh, in some manner also. Um, you know, as humans, I think we're all prone to some catharsis, and obviously Gareth Bale doing all these cathartic uh, actions, you know, it's kind of normal. You can't you can't deny that. Um, so, anyways, let's get into the Bale Paul Pogba situation. The news is that Bale might be a key for the Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba swap, it's not going to happen. I mean, if this, this is not going to happen, it's just news, it's paper talk. It's just to, um, you know, kind of make it through the international break without really, um, you know, because it's slow in the news. you just got to make headlines, you got to make papers. Uh, so they're just trying to push out papers. However, Paul Pogba does want to come to Real Madrid. I just think that Bale does not want to come to Manchester United. I think Paul. I think uh, Gareth Bale will want to just stay at Real Madrid. You know, he's he's he has a. I wouldn't say he has a good at Real Madrid, but he's he's on good wages. Madrid's weather is a lot better. He's in a team that can be successful, that will fight for Champions League for sure. That will fight for La Liga. Uh, you know, considering Zidane what is to go for new objectives, why would he want to go to Manchester United? It's not going to happen in a million years. Uh, and then Perez and Real's relationship is not very good either. Uh, you know, Paul Pogba, is, he's a very big player for Manchester United. It's pretty much their brand. And then you have the resurgence of Manchester United. Um, I doubt it, you know. And, and Gareth Bale, he'll also fight to 
to stay at Real Madrid. He likes it here at Madrid. And, you know, despite all the criticism that he gets, um, I, I think he'll stay. I know Pogba said things about Real Madrid, and probably Pog Pogba, he, he will come to Real Madrid one day. I wouldn't be surprised if he does so. Um, but it's not going to be in a swap deal for sure. Um, I think that's just going to be later on in the future. Uh, however, as for Gareth Bale, what do I think of him? Well, it's a difficult situation. The only thing, the only person or the only player that I would replace him for or trade him for would be Mbappe. Uh, I don't see any other player that's worth it. You know, you could say Icardi to some extent, but um, even Icardi, you have his wife. His wife is just one heck of a scary snake. Um, I think that's the last thing you want in a dressing room. You have uh, Neymar, Neymar, very selfish player. Not going to win the Champions League with him. I very much doubt it, you know. Um, it's all about him. You're going to have dressing room problems. That's the last thing we want. You have Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard, I would say, just a great move. I, he's going to come to Real Madrid without a doubt. It's 100% sure. Um, it's just a matter of time. And, yeah, Gareth Bale, he, obviously, he's, he's going to stay at, at Real Madrid. And that's what I'm hoping happens. Um, he's a very good player. Like I said, on his day, he influences matches. Um, you know, in blink of an eye, really. So uh, I think we should keep him... You know, I wouldn't say no matter the cost, but um, it, it's just hard to find one of these players. And he's already, you know, he already knows everyone here at Real Madrid. Um, yes, he doesn't speak that language great, so what? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't really care, to be honest. What he does on the pitch um, just proves to me that he's able to do just fine in Spain. There's really no problem with that. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, um, and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Garrett Bale, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.